Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. We got another viewer writing in wanting some help with which direction to go in purchasing a camera system. We've got Joe writing in here and um, Joe says, Hey Matt, love your channel. I really value your opinions. I have a decision to make and I don't know what to do. I'm pulling my hair out trying to decide. I keep watching comparison videos and matching prices and I get even more confused. I currently shoot with a Canon 77D and I have a Rebel T5i as a backup. I want to step up and get a more professional camera. I shoot portraits, events, and real estate photography. I'm getting booked for a few weddings and plan on doing more. I also shoot music videos and documentaries. I also want to expand to wedding videos as well. I currently have a Canon Nifty 50 F1.8, a 40mm 2.8 Canon, a Canon 10 to 18 F4, a Canon 24mm F2.8, and a Canon 18 to 135. I have a budget of around $4,000, give or take 100 or two. I plan on buying new glass and a Zoom Crane 2 out of that same 4K uh, budget. I have thought about 6D Mark II or Panasonic GH5, but I don't want to buy a Metabone Speed Booster despite having to upgrade glass anyway. Perhaps two cameras could work for photography and video, but I don't want to invest in a lot of glass from a company other than Canon. I could get one or two lenses for a video, only type of situation if I were to get two cameras. I could go on and on, but I'm sure you get my issue. I have more needs than the budget. I have to acquire my tools. So please help me make an informed decision. I'm open to all possibilities. Thanks in advance, Joe. So um, thanks for your question, Joe. And what the biggest takeaway I got out of this that I wanted to underline before I get into my answer here is where you said, I don't want to invest in a lot of glass from a company other than Canon. So I'm going to take that as a given then that you basically want to stay within Canon. You want to keep your money invested in Canon. You want to stay with Canon options. I mean, because you could straddle. You could go with a G7. A couple of G7s will give you a great 4K setup with some you know, inexpensive um, Micro Four Thirds glass. You could probably do all that for just over $1,000, two bodies used and um, a couple of lenses. Um, and then you could go with whatever options you wanted for the photography side of it, still within your $4,000. But if we want to stay Canon and we want to stay with Canon glass, um, your options I'm going to outline here for you are, um, because you're looking at, at shooting a lot of uh, videos and whatnot, I'm going to assume we're, we, want, we want 4K ability because in this day and age, I think that's I think you should have it. So f M50, Canon M50, I'm reviewing it now. You've seen the unboxing videos. You know I'm a big fan from all of the like, discussions we've had on it. Uh, it's your least expensive 4K option. It's the... Newest iteration of Canon's very good uh, 24 megapixel APS-C sensor. It's got good IQ, good high ISO, and offers 4K. Also a really cool looking camera. It's mirrorless too. Shoots 10 frames per second. Um, with the adapter, you can use the entire Canon glass lineup. So you can use all your existing lenses. Um, it's the best option for price for you. Um, you can get two bodies and all the lenses you want for it and still have plenty of money left um, for what else you need to do. Because, I mean, it's only, it's like... Eight ninety nine for the kit. I think the bodies were as low as like six ninety nine or something. I forget exactly what the body only price was, but I'll put it below. It's it's inexpensive. Um, that's a great option to consider. That's option number one. Option two, if four K isn't a big deal for you, um, you could go to an SL two. It's no four K, but it's the least expensive. You could have multiple bodies. You got dual pixel AF. You got the same twenty four megapixel high quality sensor, um, and you could go with that route. Um, that may be an option for you, uh, depending on how many cameras you need. And I, I know you're looking at a pro solution, but I wouldn't have a problem shooting weddings or pro events with an SL2. It's a strong offering. It just happens to be inexpensive. The other option is to go to all the way to a 5D4. 5D4 gives you 4K. It's full frame. It's your most expensive option, but it gives you everything all in one. It's going to really tax your budget, though. Your thoughts on a 6D2 I would steer clear of because... Um, it doesn't give you 4K. It's not your best video option. Actually, I shouldn't say I would stay clear of it. Let's say that that's option number four. You get a 6D2. You've got the t nice 1080. You've got a full-frame camera, a very good performing full-frame camera. And maybe you add one or two M50s into the mix to give you your 4K option. And then you can stay all Canon glass. You got 4K and you got full-frame for your photography. Maybe that's your best option that I just came up with at the last minute is a 6D2 with one or two M50s. Gives you 4K video, really strong offering on an APS-C backup bodies, but also full frame um, for video at 1080 and full frame for your photography needs.
that could be your best option for that budget. I like that one. I think that's probably the way I would go. Let's throw it back to our viewers, though. Do you like that last option? Would you go in a, a Mark II with, a, with one or two M50s as a backup or a, or a tandem shooting setup? Would you go with just the M50s? Would you look at SL2s? Let me know what you guys would do and why. Is there another option I didn't cover that you would like to throw into the mix? Let us know what you guys would do and why. Leave it in the comments below. Let's help out Joe. Let's help him think out his purchase here and what he should do, what will best serve his needs. Always great to hear back from you guys. Um, a lot of times you you know throw something out there that I didn't consider, and that's the beauty of uh, group power, group thinking. So uh, looking forward to hearing what you guys have to say. Thanks for your question, Joe. Stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at artoftheimage.com.